Yeah, so, this Wall uh, Street yeah. Journal article, just real quick. Uh, Paul Allen's $1 billion art collection heads to auction. Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen collected chemistry sets as a boy, but the trove of paintings and sculptures he later amassed could top $1 billion when it heads to auction at Christie's this fall. Uh, so, yes, this co-founder Paul Allen, co-founder of Microsoft, is selling a $1 billion dollar art collection now for some context uh rich people collect art not because they like art but because it's a it holds value it's a and store it's an, of value yeah. exactly it it's normally a, it's goes an, up in value especially it's during an, economic right. trouble exactly it's an investment so you know an, an art collector is not necessarily just like a lover of art they are <laughs> investing they are putting money in something that will gain more value that's it's it's literally a financial asset uh to these billionaires and to have a one billion dollar art collection collection is crazy i believe it's the biggest art collection in the world or most expensive uh owned by a private person and he's selling it he's putting it to auction why is this important because when you have a billionaire selling a financial asset that was supposed to store value it means he is valuing the cash more than he is the asset. And when do billionaires convert assets into cash? When the world is about to financially end. This is a uh, very spooky signal uh, into what the economy might look like very soon. Well, uh, this is sort of unprecedented. It's coming at a time uh, right when the Fed chairman, uh, Jerome Powell, came out. Uh, he actually came out this morning and said that uh, uh, this headline here from fin- uh, Yahoo Finance. Powell says Fed's inflation fight will bring some pain. Yes. Yeah, Isn't that pain. nice? We're, yes. we're not going to finish until the job is done. He just so, yeah. literally tells us it's, this is going to be painful getting this inflation under control. Yeah. So painful, in fact, that Paul Allen has to sell his $1 billion art collection uh, to survive whatever is coming next. You know, the Fed, the Fed always says one thing and does another. So, you know, there's a little bit of skepticism on my part. The contrarian in me is kind of like, well, maybe this and, and moves like this by Paul Allen Sure, I suppose, but I don't know. This is very, uh, you know, there's a lot of mind games going on. It's a big psychology play with money and finance and the economy. So I don't know. I'm skeptical of anything, especially since the Fed, they've been saying, oh, we're fighting inflation, fighting inflation, but they've been pumping money into the economy. They they didn't really tell us until, what, a week or so ago. Um, you know, and then Joe Biden came out of zero percent inflation. Right. Yeah. Right. So there's all that going on, but I, I think it's also political. In that, um, you know, people will think that everything's fine because the Fed chairman said this and then things won't go down until after the election and then everything will probably crash and have another another bottom. So we 